you're skeptical because you're like, I've never heard of this. My doctor's never heard of this. What it is. If you are having some type of decreased sexual performance, you're going to be kind of on edge and your confidence is going to be down. And you really want to know, like, it does this work, right? right? Does it really work? How come my doctor's never heard of this, right? Or how come my urologist has never heard of this? Today, we want to cover a topic um, talking about shockwave therapy as it is used for ED and sexual performance and why my doctor's never heard of shockwave therapy, right? We get this question all, all the, the time. time. All the time. So someone calls here or they drop us, you know, a web form, they go on the website and one of the first questions out of their mouths is, how come my doctor's never heard of this, right? Or how come my urologist has never heard of this? Right. If it's so amazing and you guys, it, it is what you guys say it is, how come no one's ever heard of it? So, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I think a lot of this comes from uh, traditional Western medicine, Doctors are trained to do, you know, these things very, very well. And when we're talking about the use of shockwave therapy for sexual performance, peyronies and erectile dysfunction, it's really come out of Europe and it's very popular over there. And they've been doing this over in Europe and Asia for 20 to 25 years, right? right? So just like all the cool medicine mm -hmm. comes out of Asia and Europe, you know, there are big roadblocks when it comes to getting stuff approved by the FDA here in the United States, it's you know, it's tough, yeah, right? Yeah, so like yeah. you have to have billions of dollars and 10 years of clinical studies behind right. you to get FDA approved for, you know, a Viagra or any other type of medication. And sure, I mean, the right. FDA, you know, it has to make sure that, you know, people are safe. It's gotta be safe. Yeah, you right? gotta be safe and you have to practice good medicine. Mm -hmm. But, you know, a big reason why my doctor's never heard of this is because um, it's, it's coming out of Western Europe. Western medicine. It's Western medicine. You know, they're used to writing prescriptions and doing surgery. That's just how they were trained. Mm -hmm. That's what they know. And, you know, as far as shockwave therapy, mm -hmm. it's not covered by insurance. So mm -hmm. that's a big thing too. You know, when you're going into your urologist, they're mm -hmm. not a cash pay clinic. Right. It's all regulated by insurance right. and insurance is medication and surgery. Right. Unfortunately, that's just how it works. Right. So, you know, I, I do want to make that a point that yeah. that's another reason why maybe you're not hearing about it at the mm -hmm. urologist is right. because it's not covered. It's, it's not, not covered, covered by insurance. And, yeah. and, and don't, don't get us wrong. I mean, there are, um, urologists just now starting to accept shockwave therapy right. for um, uh, 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 Peyronie's disease and erectile sexual performance and erectile dysfunction. Yeah. They're very few, but because shockwave therapy is newer to the US, mm -hmm. it's just now kind of on the on that tipping point of where people are starting to say, okay, maybe this is a real thing. Maybe we should pay attention to this, right? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I know that some of your patients, you know, they say the same thing. They're like, yeah, my, my doctor said he's never heard of this, right? We talk about it all the time. Yeah. We talk about it all the time. And sometimes I say, you know, it's just, I feel like sometimes we're behind a little bit, mm -hmm. whether it's regulatory or whatever that, what, whatever that means, whatever that looks like. I just right. say, you know, this has been something that's been around we always refer to clinical studies because mm -hmm. we want them to know that we're basing what we do on something that is factual and something that's been practiced right. safely. Right. Yep. right. So we talk about all that stuff, but ultimately I just say, you know, Europe did it first and then we see it maybe 15, 20 years. It's later. like that way with everything yeah, I feel right, like. Yeah. You know, they're exactly. doing stuff in Europe and Asia right now that we won't hear about for ten or twenty right. years. But right? it's exciting stuff. It's like cutting yeah. edge. I just feel right. like we were just right there with everybody else. But exactly. I feel like better late than never because sure. we can offer something that people are now starting to talk about. Because yep. right. it, the underside of it is it's like people don't really talk about ED no. yeah. openly. Still taboo they don't really subject. Talk about stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like not only are we talking about it with other providers yeah. and we're informing, you know, urologists and things like that, but we're also yeah. talking about things with people. Yes. That they can talk about with their friends and family members and, mm -hmm. and right. And that just is meaningful in itself. Yeah. So yeah, it's based on science. It's based on something that's been around for a long time. Yes. And now it's yeah. it's it's Available. It's available. It's accessible. Yes. Yeah. Here. Yes. Yeah. And we so, do it. Well, not just that. It's like, you know, I can understand why like, when, when you guys call in, it's you're skeptical because you're like, I've never heard of this. My doctor's never heard of this. What it is. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you if you are having some type of decreased sexual performance, you know, you're going to be, you know, kind of on edge and your confidence is going to be down. Mm -hmm. And you really want to know, like, it does this work, right? right? Does it really work? Yeah. Listen. We've done thousands of treatments. In yes. fact, we're the largest clinic in the United States doing this. Yeah. But don't take our word for it. You can go right to NovaWave.com, go to clinical research, and there are third-party studies on there yes. that have been done over the last 10 to 20 years mm -hmm. 
that are, you know, independent studies. We didn't do these. They're big urologist groups in Canada and Europe and yeah. all over, you know, Asia and India. So this isn't anything that, you know, Novus or Novo Wave, you know, discovered. It's not a science experiment. It's very, very real. So we just adopted it. We've adopted it. <laughs> and and we kind of made it better. Kind of made it better. Uh, yeah. So, well, and here's what I'll even do when you guys, you know, when, when I'm talking to you guys and you're like, you know, I'm going to go back and talk to my doctor. Sure, you should do that. We encourage that. Yeah, I'm going to go back and talk to my urologist. About, I'm going to tell my urologist about this. Okay, great. And ask him why he's not doing it all the time. Yeah. Here's what we do. We ask you, and I think you can actually do this on our website. Go to noahwave.com, go to clinical research. You can actually download the studies, download them, print them out, take, take them, them to your you. doctor. Yeah. No, we literally, because <laughs> when we first started this years ago, we would say, we would just say, oh yeah, just go to your doctor and ask him about it. And what was happening was, is the doctor's like, I don't know anything about this. Don't do it. You know? So I've never heard of it. Don't do it. So what we started doing was actually having you guys print out these clinical studies that we didn't do, yeah. you know, the 10, yeah. 15, 20 years old. And you guys are now bringing them into your doctor and saying, Hey, Will you read this with me? This is like a real thing, you let's know. Learn so together. let's learn together. Let's exactly. learn something so new. So the more, together. the more, and this isn't just a novice thing. The more we can educate exactly. the general public and other yep. physicians Each on other. this, the more validated this entire thing becomes, and the, uh, the the discussion of this opens up because guys definitely don't like to talk about this stuff, right? Yeah, so exactly. you know, just educate yourself. Educate that's, yourself. That's my biggest thing to these patients. It's you're going to find good studies. You're going to find bad studies on anything that you're looking for just be educated, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. do your research, do, the do your work. own due diligence. Yeah. Yes. You know, this is your body. Mm -hmm. Make an informed decision about what right. you want to do for your body. For your exactly. Body. Yeah. You know? And a lot of you listen, a lot of times, you know, we have people come in here and I know your patients so, tell you this too. They're like, yeah, my doctor's never heard of this, but I decided to do it anyway because, you know, I read the clinical studies, right. Mm -hmm. And, and I've seen the testimonials and I read it. It's been in men's health. It was on Dr. Oz. It was on the mm -hmm. doctors, right. you know, it's been in all these, on, on all these huge media platforms. Now it's a lot of trust building things happen. So, um, you know, that's, it's, uh, it's something that you should definitely do your research on and, you know, read the clinicals. I mean, I just think like with anything, like as a responsible person myself, not only a provider, but I feel like I would do the same thing. Right. I would want the same, I would want somebody to accept the same experience. I would want right. to be able to get information, right. feel informed, feel safe, mm -hmm. yes. feel like it was legitimate. Like right. I can't even tell you how many times people come into our place and they feel absolutely confident about the experience from the beginning to the end. Yeah. Every single piece of the puzzle from the yeah. first person that they see to the last person that they see when yeah. they walk out. And I think it's because of the education, right? right. The cohesive, the right. energy, like yes. the vibe. But I also feel it's because we all believe in because it's doing. real. It's very right? real. It's a real thing. So that's yeah. because what we see, the results yeah. we see are real. Right. And I think that's why we're so heated in this discussion is because yes we see what's happening. You know, right. I know that you're on the other side and you're scared and you don't know what to do and right. you're trying to make a decision, but please, please know that, you know, we're seeing you guys day in and day out. Every day, all day. <laughs> we are seeing real results. We see a lot of amazing. penis. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. We're do, again, we do, we, we do we 20, do. Lot, lots of penis. We, we do. do 20 to, yeah, we, you know, we average about yeah. 20, 20 treatments a day. So, you know, a lot of guys believe in this and we've had so much success over the years yeah. and um, it is really incredible, but don't take our word for it. Do your own research, you know, uh, read all the clinical studies. So yeah. uh, again, more information on this, even give the website, give novowave.com to your doctor, send it, yeah. email it to them, email it to your nurse, you know, email it to your PA, email it to somebody, you know, if you want <laughs> a, another opinion other than ours, right? Yeah. So go to novowave.com. Um, if you want to hear from us, just fill out the form and uh, one of our reps will get right back to you.